for the past week, I can't go anywhere, anywhere, without running into somebody or some snotty-nosed child. And the only thing out of their mouths is not, hey, Mr. Regal, how you doing? It's good to see you, Ricky Regal. Glad you're around. No. It's always three words. Three words, quite frankly, I'm tired of hearing. Those three words are, why, Regal, why? Why did you beat up our sheriff? Why did you turn your back on our hero? Why did you destroy him December the 7th at Christmas for Kids? The answer is simple. I've said it for five years now at various events. Ricky Chastain is not a professional wrestler. He's a bane to my business. Okay? I've been a professional wrestler for over 20 years. I've done it all. I've seen them all. I've wrestled some of the greats. Okay? I've been on tour with the Freebirds. Okay? I've been on tour with the Rock and Roll Express. The Road Warriors. Real professional wrestlers. Guys who could eat your lunch, Chastain. So you want to know why I did what I did? Because you are a politician. You're a sheriff of some little podunk town. Okay? And you want to try to step in the ring and pretend to do what I do and what I've been doing for over 20 years? Media outlets calling me, sending me messages, newspapers disparaging my good name. I didn't do anything wrong. I did something right. I did something a lot of these so-called promoters around here should have done a long time ago and took out the trash. It's people like you, Chastain, that's ruining my business, the professional wrestling business. Because what you do is you walk in and you think, oh, I can do that. I sell it on TV Monday night. I can do anything they can do. I've bled. I've sweat. I've divorced for this business, for the business of professional wrestling. And you're just going to walk in and, and think you're a part of it? Why? Because you're a sheriff? Last year, at the Boots vs. Badge match, you retired me. Okay. It is what it is. It was an I quit street fight. And for those of you who didn't see it, you can go to my Facebook page, Ricky Regal, R-I-K-K-I-R-E-G-A-L on Facebook. Okay. And the video's there. And you can see exactly what happened last year. It was a boots versus badge, I quit street fight. This was last year. Now, the rules of the match were to, to, to win the match, your opponent had to quit, had to say the words, I quit. Go back and watch that match again. I never said those words. I never said I quit. Not once. Never. Go back and watch it. You think I'm lying? I don't care. I'm honest. Say what you will about me. Okay? But I'm more honest than your sheriff. Okay? Because he pretends to be a wrestler. Deion Johnson was right. And what he said last week. It's people like Chastain that's a bane to our business. You don't belong in the wrestling business. You don't belong in that ring. And you certainly, certainly don't need to stand next to a great like such as myself. So why wriggle why? Because I had to do what I had to do. I didn't do anything wrong. I'm not a bad guy. I'm standing up for the business of professional wrestling. That makes me a good guy.
I'm standing up, making a stand like some of these promoters around here should be doing, and kicking the trash to the curb. You don't belong in the wrestling ring unless you've been trained, unless you've sweat, unless you've bled, unless you've been in the ring with the greats and drawn money. All of which, by the way, I've done. Why rewind? Because it needed to be done. And I tell you this, word on the street is, Ricky Chastain, you're coming back next year. You're going to try it again. What am I going to have to do to you to finally rid my business of the likes of you? Listen, man, I wouldn't show up next year if I were you. You're beaten. Your neck is hanging by a thread. We all know it. It's not a secret. Just quit. Just stop. Because next year, if the if you show up, I cannot and I will not be responsible for what happens to you. I am the overlord of the wasteland, the engineer of combat, the big boss with the hot sauce. And I'm the star of the show. Stop now. For your family's sake, for your sake, go be a politician. Go be a politician. But never, ever make the mistake of believing for one second that you're a professional wrestler. I'm Ricky Regal. Your worst nightmare.